the messages of the cards to move through me and be upon anybody that needs to hear them, including myself. We thank the universe for these cards, for this practice of divination. My messages keep popping up here. <laughs> it feels like a Mercury retrograde, by the way. That's that Saturn, Mercury, one degree within one another, Graha, Yuta, planetary war. But we're going to zip right through this. We're almost done now. Um, past card, Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a representation of good fortune. It's hard work paying off or business ventures or creative ventures paying off. It's the creation of something out of creating from the nothing so it's like the third step so step one you have an inspiration step two you create from the inspiration step three you get rewarded for the creation and that's what the six of wands is telling us now now this is the past card right well we have been in 2022 222 two, two, the number of six the year of six now for nearly two months right so we've been in it for a while. We've been in this energy of things paying off. So maybe you're starting to see you're starting to see like a shift, right? Like maybe the past two years have been super challenging. There's been a lot of irritation, like that clam or that oyster. But now you're starting to see the pearl. Now you're starting to see the gold out of the experience. So the six of wands represents magic. Wands represent magic. Wands also represent alchemy. This card is yellow, representing that golden energy. We also have the green at center, representing heart chakra. This is about believing in our magic. Not only believing in our magic to create something out of nothing, not only believing in our gifts and our magic enough to financially support us and energetically and emotionally support us, but also believing in our magic to create gold out of nothing and that's emotional alchemy because the things in our past sometimes feel like nothing right like these negative experiences these challenges these traumas all of these things that we've been through that kind of feel like nothing like they didn't matter to where we are today they actually had deep wisdom and gold so this six of wands is being pulled right now to say hey Pisces season has been here since the 18th of February. We still have some time to go. 2022 just got started. We've still got some time to go. It's time to embrace your magic, start living through your heart, start believing in your gifts, and start letting that move into the new co-creation of your reality. For our present card, I kid you not, I pulled the hanged man, which kind of gets pulled to represent Mercury retrograde. This is actually represented by Neptune. You can see the trident up there. And Neptune is ruling this new moon in Pisces. But we also have this Graha Yuda between Mercury and Saturn. So this is a time of kind of hanging around instead of moving forward. New moons are a time of sacred pause. This new moon in Pisces is a time to really honor that sacred stillness, let inspiration come to you, maybe turn things upside down. This really looks like he's meditating or resting, right? Like he's just chilling, he's not distressed while he hangs upside down. He's just hanging out there and he's letting things ground him in. Also notice all of the green again. We've got a lot of heart chakra here. So this is heart chakra frequency really bringing in this, um, bringing us into this new moon portal. So we're feeling our heart's desires come up, the things that we wanna create, the things we wanna bring into our reality, but we might need to hang around before we really like make any decisions. This is also pertaining to Mercury in regards to maybe wait around, maybe be a little bit more silent, maybe retreat, maybe tie yourself up at home and away from people, be the hermit so that you don't say anything or react in any way that's going to cause you to need to do damage control on the other side of like this moon or this cycle. We also have for our future card, <clears throat> the two of cups reversed. I pulled it reversed. And when we pull cards reversed, it's a little bit of the opposite of that energy. So two of cups is typically relationships, marriages, partnerships. <laughs> Not so much when it's reversed, right? Graha Yuda between Mercury, 
or sorry, Graha Yuda between Mars, Venus, and Pluto. Power struggles on the collective, on the masculine and feminine energy. Again, power struggles within our energy, finding our own emotional balance. Also, again, finding that balance to be creative instead of feeling like we're drowning in those overwhelming feelings. So anytime the Two of Cups is pulled reversed, we're being reminded again to slow down, to turn within, to restabilize, to create our own harmony, to not rely on it to come from the external, to create it from the internal instead. This is also a little bit about duality, right? So we've got the Pisces energy with this moon. Pisces energy will continue through the season until March 20th. One fish swimming up, one fish swimming down, both sides, both ends of the spectrum, highs and lows. We have to take it all in for the bigger picture. We have to hold love and gratitude around all of it as well. That's true emotional alchemy.